Yeah, just, uh, you know, first win, or first game, that was a great win for our team. I mean, you know, played extra inning ball game, first one of the year. Um, got out of a jam there in the top of the 10th. And then, uh, you know, found a way to win that game in the, in the bottom of the 10th. You know, it was, uh, had a lot of momentum, and I, I just felt like, you know, by coming back and winning that game, got a big two-out hit by Wise, you know, to tie that thing up. And uh, just the way it all went down, I thought the second game would be a game that, you know, might maybe be tight, but I figured we'd win the ball game, you know, just, just the way the first game ended. And give, give uh, credit to Auburn and really their starter who came out and just filled up the strike zone. You know, when any time the wind's blowing straight in 20 miles an hour like it did tonight, I mean, there were, I would say, there was one home run and there would have been maybe eight today, maybe nine. I think Anderson would have had three. Um, I think Fisher might have had two. And they, you know, their catcher would have had three. He got one. And I'm sure probably had another one or two in there. But, uh, when you get behind like we got behind when the wind's blowing straight in your face, it's tough to come back. Um, it's hard to piece that many hits together. You know, you got whenever the guys are throwing over the plate, and that was our downfall game too. You know, the first three innings we walked two and hit one, six free passes, you know, mixed in with four or five hits, and uh, a pickoff that was thrown away, and a, a, you know, a double steal play that was botched. You know, all of a sudden we find ourselves down seven runs. And uh, they kept they kept a good attitude in the dugout, kept fighting, battling, and uh, you know, but we knew that it was going to take you know Auburn breaking down or they getting wild or you know getting enough hits to come back. It was going to be tough, but uh, it was a long day, and uh, disappointed we didn't win the second game. I feel the emotion just kind of went out of them after the first game, or, or no? I mean, really, we. What happened was is they scored four runs there in the third inning or fourth, whatever that was. And, you know, the third inning when they, you know, they get it, we get it two outs and he hits a batter and he gives up a bomb. All of a sudden we're down three. Um, that was a little difficult. And then the next inning come out, walk a couple people. And, you know, I mean, our bullpen did a great job. You know, but we just we got behind early. We we can't you can't walk people in this league. You know, one here and there, but you know, you you put you walk two in an inning and you hit a guy and stuff like that. Boy, rallies are going to happen. And sure enough, what usually happens is they're right in the meat of their order, and that's what they that's kind of what happened to us. And they got their hits. You know, Beeks and Al Raymond so good most of the year that I guess Beeks didn't throw badly, but obviously that was a kind of typical start for Al. What do what, what you think of starting pitching in both games? Well, you know, Beeks to me, um, his stuff was pretty good uh, here and there. And then he started, you know, he threw a few good breaking balls. He just made a mistake or two, and it happens. And they're a good hitting team. I mean, they're hitting 280 something as a team. And, you know, that's pretty good in this league. Uh, they've got some. They've got a couple seniors in that lineup, and a couple of other kids that that, that swing it well, especially up top. Um, it's you know their their top of the order hitters are tough. So um, anyway, uh, you know Oliver. I mean, it's self-explanatory. It was not a good outing for him. I really don't want to comment on it. I mean, just too many free passes behind in the count, and uh, you know just didn't just didn't command the strike zone at all. Is this six double hitter you played this year? Just how. Do you remember remember your like it's how tough is that? We've had five now, but I don't know. In league play we played two or three. Yeah. Six? Yeah. Six? Oh, that's yeah. great. It's twelve games. That's a pretty good portion of the season. It's just the way it is, they're tough. You know, it'd been nice to go home with a win that first game, sleep on it, come back on Sunday and play, but obviously that wasn't the agreement and that's the way the weather is and uh, um, I hope it rains all day tomorrow. You know, you guys had so many tough low-scoring losses. To, to, to get tied up in the eighth and win in the tenth, how big was that? It was huge. I mean, it was huge for our team. Big momentum, like I said earlier. It's, that's why I was surprised that the second game went the way it went. But, you know, it really it started with just giving them too many free passes. And they, you know, they took advantage of it. A lot of times, you know, sometimes you can wiggle out of that and you get a double play ball, but it didn't happen tonight. You know, they, they, uh, they, they kept punching in runs that, uh, you know, that – they earned them, but they got on base. Most of them were on base with base on balls.
fifth straight year um, Auburn's beating you in a series. Yeah. Is, is that just weird? Is that just the way it is in baseball sometimes? You know, who knows? Yeah, I guess it is. But uh, you know, we got ten games left, nine conference games, and I told our team we need to finish strong. We need to get after it somehow, some way. I mean, we got to go on the road for the next four ball games, and. Um, yeah, you know, they got three more at home and then three more on the road. We'll see what happens. Tough game, Missouri State on Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, we play at four. A little different. Um, they're always they're always scrappy, and the games we play with them are usually tight. Um, you know, nice ballpark. Looking forward to heading up there. Phillips, no, Chase, probably, or who do you? No, we're gonna we'll, we'll start Poche. Um, Tyler, a big hit for you know, I mean, he, he huge. Did a great job. Stayed stayed inside that ball and just drove it into the wind. And you know when it left the bat, we felt like the game was over. You know it's going to be a sack fly at a minimum, and then to get over his head, that was nice. But that was just a great job of going up there and and hunting a, a good pitch. And I don't know if they felt like that we were going to take a pitch, uh, but he got him a good pitch and he hammered it. The Alberius thing worked out pretty nicely, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he did a good job. You know, I was giving him a pitch to hit, and then he, it was a strike, and we decided to bunt. And uh, then just said, hey, let's just let him hit. You know, he's thinking about Josh. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't get too uptight. And uh, I could kind of tell by the waves moving around that, you know, he was ready to, to take a swing. And we already, you know, the way it was going, let's just maybe so we can drive him over. Is Missouri State, is, is, is that a good series for you guys? Do you like playing them? It's pretty close. Well, they're a couple hours, two and a half hours away. I mean, we're, we're playing them once a year, home and away, just either, either like next year they'll come here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it, the games are always, like I said, they're always real competitive and, you know, usually usually go down to the wire. I can remember a few of them that, that the game stands out most to me was when Eibner went up there and uh, we got two hits. Eibner hit two solo home runs and pitched a shutout. We told, we kind of joked about it the way back. We only needed eight guys in Eibner to go on that trip, and uh, but there's been some really good ball games with them. Final midweek game, just the importance of turning it back on track. Yeah, I mean, you know that it, it, you, you just want to win. You, obviously, I'm sure, like they do, it's nice to win in the middle of the week, and you know we'll head back and practice on Wednesday, and then head to uh, Oxford on Thursday. So. And they've been they've been awfully good. I saw where they just got after Kentucky again on the road again today. They're scoring a lot of runs. They've they might have you know them or Kentucky. I guess statistically probably have the two best offenses in the league. How do you feel like you know, the conference race just keeps tightening up? It seems like. Well, you know it's funny that you know I've said that I feel like the pitching in this league is as good as it's ever been. And um, you know just talking with the umpires. Before the second game, we were standing around, you know, home plate because we've already gone over the ground rules and all of that. It's just kind of there to exchange lineups. Uh, there's a couple of veteran umpires in there made the comment that they've been doing it for a long time. They said this is the they've seen the best that they've seen the league and the most bounce they've seen the league in 20 years.